Great to see you. Mm. Biscuits. Bobby, what's up with you? Say hello. Jelly meat. Pizza. What's going on with you today, Bob? Oh, Constable Brian, I'm so hungry. But you've been eating all day, Bobby. I wasn't eating properly, though. I was just practicing. You're kidding. I can barely carry you from all the stuff you've eaten today, Bobby. Bobby, I've got a question for you. Do you know the one place that more people get hurt than any other place? Sure do. The hospital. The hospital? Yup. Every time I go there, it's full of sick people. Now that's because they're trying to get better, Bobby? Oh. No, the one place that more people get hurt than any other is on the road. Really? On the road? Wait a second. That's a road there. Look out, Constable Brian! It's a road! Hang on, Bob. Hang on, Ian, Bob. We're quite safe on the footpath, mate. Run, Constable Brian! Uh, Run for your life! Hang on, Bob. Ah! That's the last thing we should be doing. Hey, have a look at this and calm down. Honestly, Bob, you lose the plot sometimes, mate. Let's say you're running down the footpath. You're running down the footpath? Oh, Bobby, very funny. And let's say a car pulled out of a driveway. That's not good, Constable Brian! I'm going too fast! I can't slow down! No! Now imagine if you were just walking. There's the car again, Constable Brian. Hey, I'm slowing down. Constable Brian! I didn't crash into the car because I was walking and not running. And that's how we stay safe on the footpath. Good on you, mate. So did you learn something, Bobby? Bobby! Bob! Bobo! 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 Bone! Bobby down, Constable Brian! I'm gonna cross the road and get that bone! Hang on, roads are dangerous. I can't go over there, but I'm so hungry! Oh, Constable Brian, what are the puppy to do? There's easier ways of getting across there, mate. Of course! Dig a tunnel! No. <laughs> Build a bridge? Oh, no. Um, Grow up, become a pilot, buy a plane and fly over? Uh, no. Mm. Well, hell! Well, here, have a look at this. Why is he pushing that button? You'll see. The cars are stopping, and now he's crossing the road. He is, Bobby. He pushed the button, waited for the traffic to stop, and then crossed the road, watching and listening for traffic as he walked. Comfortable, Brian. What traffic? Is that another name for car? Well, sort of, Bobby. Traffic is a name for everything that's on the road, so that includes cars... And trucks and motorbikes and bicycles and vans and youths and scooters and skateboards and tractors and... <laughs> You're right, Bobby, that's terrific. Oh, I thought it was terrific. Oh, Those lights we saw must be traffic lights. So the only safe place to cross the road is at the traffic lights. Really, Bobby? How about here? Hey, there isn't a button here. What's this called? It's called a pedestrian crossing, although some people call it a zebra crossing. Can you figure out why? Of course I can. I just have one question. Go on then. What's a zebra? A zebra is an animal that looks like a horse with black and white stripes. <coughs> so, Bobby, do you have any idea why it's called a zebra crossing now? No idea. The black and white stripes, perhaps. Poor. Oh. But if this is a zebra crossing, won't we need a comfortable and dog crossing? No, Bobby, because sometimes it's known as a pedestrian crossing as well. And remember that a pedestrian is somebody who walks on the footpath or crosses the road. Hey, Constable Brian, this pedestrian crossing does have traffic lights. You're right, Bobby, it does have lights, but that's so that traffic can see it and people crossing at night. Remember that when traffic comes up to a crossing, it's meant to stop for the pedestrian at the pedestrian crossing. Well... We're waiting, so come on, let's go! You can't just rush out onto the road. Sometimes if the traffic's not expecting you to cross the road, it may not stop in time. And then poor handsome Bobby would never get to his boat! There's three things we've got to do before we can cross the road. The first is stop. Stop. Second is look. Look. 
and the third is listen. Bobby has said listen. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Okay then Bobby, there's three simple rules that you need to follow when you're crossing a road without a pedestrian crossing on it too. The first step is... Stop! That's right Bobby. And you notice how I've walked up to the kerb and taken two steps away from the edge of the kerb. Oh, I get it. That way, if a car or truck comes really close to the kerb, it won't run over your toes. Spot on Bobby. And the second step was... I believe it was... Look! Good work Bobby. It always pays to look in any direction that traffic might come from. But which way do I look? Uh, traffic drives on both sides of the road. Ah, Bobby. Should have a good look down the road this way and a good look down the road this way. And then walk safely across the road so that the traffic can see you crossing the road. Well, I've had a good look from wherever traffic might come from and there's no traffic. All right, let's go, Constable O'Brien. Let's go! Hang on, Bobby. There's one more step. Oh, yeah. Well, with Lithan. I thought you didn't hear me before, though. Pardon? Oh, never mind. <laughs> right, time to listen. Oh no! What is it? It's terrible, Constable Brian. Oh, I listened as hard as I could, and I couldn't hear anything. I failed, Constable Brian. Hold me. I am holding you, though, Bobby. Then hold me tighter. Bob, it's not such a bad thing you can't hear any traffic. What is it? No. Because you're listening for traffic you can't see. And if you can't see any traffic, and you can't hear any traffic, then that means it's safe to cross the road. But remember not to run. Oh yeah, because traffic might not see you crossing if you move too quickly. Good work, Bobby. Brian down, Bobby. These kids are crossing at a zebra crossing. OK, first stop. And make sure you stop a step back from the kerb. Next, look right and left and anywhere that traffic might come from. And next, listen for traffic. Sometimes you can hear traffic before you can see it. Speak up Bobby, you're a little husky. Really? I thought I was a little Alsatian. Anyway, once it's safe to cross, you walk quickly and safely across the road. And keep looking and listening. You never know if a car is just around a corner. Yeah! The same needs to happen at a school crossing, Bobby. The traffic wardens look, listen and tell you when it's safe to cross. But you still need to look and listen when you walk across the road. That's a good idea. It's really easy. Stop, look and listen. Then walk across the road. Just like this, Bobby. Cool! I have to say, Constable Brian, I felt a lot safer crossing because you were there. Thanks, Bob. If you're with an adult you can trust, you should always cross the road with them or maybe even hold their hand. I'll just stay right here under your arm if it's all right with you, Constable Brian. But, Bob, how are you going to get to your bone? <gasps> my bone! My bone! Put me down! Put me down! <laughs> Bob, hey, hang on for a sec! <laughs> oh, thanks for teaching me to cross the road, Constable Brian. Bye bye! Where are you going, Bobby? To bury my bone. Aren't you going to eat it? I've already eaten today, Constable Brian. You really do have the worst memory. <laughs> See you next time. Kakite Anna. Oi! That's my bone! Oh, Bob, hang on for a sec. Hey, don't forget to visit our website at www.brianandbobby.co.nz and that's Brian with a Y. Association with Blue Light Ventures and Trillium Trust.